Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Today in this tutorial we will discuss that how we construct different kinds of logic gates in the GX developer software. To proceed further, first we will go to the project and open a new project. Its PLC type and PLC series is already selected. So we need to construct program here. First of all, we need to discuss the tools table of different kinds of logic gates. We can see that different kinds of logic gates in this. Before proceeding further in this video, please subscribe my channel so that you can get a notification for every new video. Here we can see that first of all AND gate for any input 0 0 output is 0, 0 1 output is 0 and 1 0 output is 0. If the both the inputs are 1, 1 1 output will be 1. So first of all we will construct AND gate. Let's begin. We will take an input x0 with normally open contact and we will take other input with normally open contact x1 and we will take an output with output 0 first of all we will convert this program and write to plc comport is not selected so first of all we will change its comport We will go to PC and then properties. Here we will go to device manager and select its COM port. Its port is COM4. So we need to change its port to COM4. Go to online transfer setup. Change its serial port from COM3 to COM4. Yes, now connection test is successful and its port is ok now now go to online write this program to plc program plus parameter execute yes write to plc is executed now we can test this program whether it is working or not if both the inputs are 1 1 1 output will be 1 otherwise output will be 0, 0 because both inputs are attached in a series circuit. If one of the out inputs is off, output will be off. This is the logic of AND gate. It is very simple. After that we will construct OR gate. For that take an input x2 and output y1 here we will drag down a line and attach here output uh, input x3 so this is our OR gate if one of the inputs this one or this one is one output will be one because if this input is 1 then current can flow from this way and if this input is 1 and this is 0 current can flow in this way. So if one of the inputs is on output will be 1 if both the inputs are 0 output will be 0. This is the logic of OR gate we can see it here this is the logic here is OR gate if both inputs are 1 output is 1. If one of the inputs is 1, output will be 1. If both inputs are 0, output will be 0. So first of all we will convert this program to later logic and go to online and then write this program to PLC. Program plus parameter execute. Yes. 
yes so this program is now loaded to our plc and then we will check whether it is working or not properly for checking online we need to go to monitor mode monitor mode now we can check that if input is 1 x2 is 1 output is 1 if input x3 is 1 output is 1 if both the inputs are 1 x2 and x3 output is 1 so this is the logic of OR gate after that we will proceed further and we will make program for NAND gate NAND gate is the opposite of AND gate in AND gate both the inputs are connected normally open and in series in NAND gate both the inputs will be connected in parallel and in normal close condition so we will take normal close first of all go to right mode right mode you will change the mode from monitor mode to the right mode and now here you can select this is x0 uh, sorry uh, we have used already x3 x4 we will use now x4 in normal close condition this is x4 and attach an output y2 this is y2 and we will drag here a vertical line and attach x5 here with normally close switch yes this is now working as NAND gate convert online write to plc check this program yes execute execute write to plc this is now executed we can check that what is the logic of this NAND gate it is the opposite of AND gate in NAND gate for both the inputs if are 0 0 then the output will be 1 if the input is 0 1 output will be 1 1 0 output will, will be 1 for both the inputs are 1 output will be 0 so we will check it if both the inputs are 1 x4 and x5 are both normal close condition if both the inputs are 1 output is 0 if one of the input is we will go to monitor mode and check it whether it is working or not we can see that both inputs are x4 and x5 are 0 the input is the output is 1 if one of the input is 1 and other one is 0 the output is 1 0 1 output is 1 if both inputs are 0 output is 1 it means that these two switches are acting inversely when we turn it on it becomes off when we turn it off it becomes on because these are connected in normally closed condition normally closed switch works opposite to the normally open switch normally open switch is turned on when it is turned on and it 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 is it is it switches to off when it is turned off but it works inversely when it is turned on it it becomes off when it is turned off it becomes turned on because it is connected inversely so go to write mode and here we will construct a program for NOR gate NOR gate is the opposite of OR gate OR gate in OR gate both inputs are in parallel in NOR gate both the inputs will be in series and in normally close condition so we will take normally close inputs x6 and x7 both inputs are in series and normally close condition and here y3 is the output so this is our NOR gate what is NOR gate we can see that this is our NOR gate for both the inputs if the inputs are 0 0 output is 1 0 1 0 
1.0.0.1.1.0. So only output is one for the if both inputs are 0, 0. Otherwise it will be 0. So we can check it out here. Convert this program to ladder logic. Go to online, write to PLC. Program pass parameter, execute, yes, yes, yes. Now we can test this program. Going to monitor mode. We can see that both the inputs x6 and x7 are turned off. Therefore, output is 1. If the input x6 is turned on, output will be off because both are connected in series. And if x6 is turned off and x7 is turned on, output will again be 0. If both the inputs are turned on, the output again will be 0. Output will be only one for both the inputs are 0, 0. This is our NOR gate. Now, we will discuss X OR gate and X NOR gate. First of all, we will go to write mode and we will construct a program here for X OR gate. We can see that this is our XOR gate. XOR gate for both the inputs if 00, 0 output is 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 output is 1 and 1, 1 output is 0. For same input output is 0, for different inputs output is 1. So we will construct a ladder logic program here for x or gate for x or gate first x input is x0 sorry x x0 with normal close and other one is x1 with normally open and an output will be attached to it y4 and we will draw a vertical line here and here will be x1 with normally close and here will be x0 with normally open So this is our x or gate convert online write to PLC program pass parameter execute yes yes if both inputs are 0 0 output will be 0 we will check it out for x0, x1. Go to monitor mode. Both inputs are 0, 0. Output is 0. If one of the input is 1, output is 1. 1, 0 or 0, 1. Output is 1. If both inputs are 1, 1. Output is again 0. So this is our x or gate. Now we will construct x nor gate. x nor gate is opposite to x or gate. You can copy it simply. Copy and paste it here and convert it to normally close. and con convert it to normally open
so this is our x nor gate convert online write to plc program plus parameter execute yes 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 in this case for if both the inputs you can see here for x nor gate if both inputs are 0 0 output is 1 and 1 1 output is 1 0 1 1 0 output is 0 or if for same same input output is 1 here go to monitor mode so both inputs are 1 1 output is 1 if the both inputs are 0 0 output is 1 1 0 or 0 1 output is 0 and the last gate is NAND gate, NOT gate this is very simple gate go to write mode and take a gate with normally close x1 output is y5 convert online write to plc execute yes yes this is inverter if the input is 1 if the input is if the input is 1 output is 0 if the input is 0 output is 1 x1 is 1 now it is off x1 is 0 now it is on it is working in this way for 0 input output is 1 for 1 input output is 0 so it is inverter so these are the logic gates that we, we have discussed in detail today stay tuned with me in the next video we will discuss further in detail the ladder logic programming of Mitsubishi PLCs thank you so much for watching this video